My name is Marcela Mazzucanola, and I'm a breast medical oncologist at Mace Cancer Center. So Hispanics are the fastest growing minority in the U.S., and now we are about 19% of the population. We know that about one in every eight women will have a breast cancer diagnosis in their lifetime, and it seems like Latinos and African Americans present with more advanced and aggressive form of breast cancer. So this is why it's very important to get that screening done. So the signs and symptoms of breast cancer could be the appearance of a new lump, changes of the appearance of the breast with new indentations or areas that are sticking out, changes in the color, and discharge from the breast that wasn't present before. So screening should start by age 40, unless you have a significant family history in which we recommend that you talk to your doctor to see if you need different screening or a more enhanced screening compared to the rest of the general population. So there are certain criteria for genetic testing as we know it. So if you have a first degree relative, your mom, your sister, who has a positive mutation that we know increases your risk of breast cancer or other cancers, you need to get genetic testing. It also applies to males that are diagnosed with breast cancer, women that have bilateral breast cancer, or that present with breast cancer at a very young age, usually younger than 45 years old. So we are aware that guidelines are recommending against self-screening. However, what I tell my patients is have self-awareness. Know how your breasts look like, so you're gonna be more sensitive to pick up any subtle changes if they were to happen. So as far as strategies to reduce uh, breast cancer risk, we talk about exercise and weight loss, decrease in the alcohol consumption, keeping a healthy diet, and of course, you know, getting your screening because the earlier the cancer is detected, the better the prognosis will be.